Hello everyone, welcome to Top Capable Channel. If you're watching this video, it's probably that you're facing iPad unavailable, security lockout or iPad is disabled issues on your device. So if you lost your iPad passcode, here are three methods for you to recover your iPad. Let's dive in. Look, here's an iPad unavailable message on the screen because I forget the passcode. I can't use the device no matter how I swipe the screen. The only way to fix the issue of a forgotten passcode is to reset iPad to factory settings and it will erase everything on your device. So how to factory reset your device? There are three methods for you. The first solution is using Erase iPad option to reset the device. The second method is using iTunes to restore your device. The last method is using Find My App to help you. If you want to solve this problem simply and quickly, iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker.com may be the best choice for you. You can download the software in AppGeeker official website or get it from the link in description. If your iPad runs iPadOS 15.2 or later, you may get a screen says iPhone unavailable or security lockout messages with an erase iPad option on the bottom. If this option doesn't appear, you need to check if your device connected to a network before it's locked. If your device says iPad is disabled on the screen, this method isn't suitable for you. You need to reset your device by using the next two methods or using iPhone Unlocker to help you out. Okay, tap Erase iPad right here. Read the prompted message on the top. Tap Erase iPad once again to confirm. Enter your Apple ID password to sign out of your Apple ID on your iPad. As you can see, your device shuts down then starts to erase the data including your lock screen passcode. You can recover your backups in iCloud or PC during setup process. When your iPad reboots with a hello screen, you can set it up. If your iPad has no erase iPad option or it doesn't connect to the internet, you can restore your device with iTunes. It will erase all the data along with your passcode then allows you to unlock the iPad. On your computer, start iTunes. Then connect your device to the computer by using a USB cable. Now you need to force your device to enter recovery mode so that iTunes can read your iPad. If you have an iPad with a home button, keep holding the home and the power buttons at the same time for a few seconds, don't release the button until you see the recovery mode screen. If you have an iPad with Face ID, Press and quickly release the volume up button. Press the quickly release the volume down button. Then keep holding the power button for seconds. Don't let go of the button until you see the recovery mode screen. On the computer, you'll see a dialog box that says there is a problem with your iPad. Click restore. Click restore and update to confirm. Okay, let's continue. Head to the top right corner of the program. Now you can see iTunes is downloading the latest iPadOS software for your iPad to factory rest your device. Once done, here it may take some time to restore your iPad, so you need to wait patiently. When it all finished. You can see the hello screen shows up, then you can use your device after the setup. If you don't install iTunes on your computer, you can use Find iPhone in iCloud as long as you've enabled this feature before your iPad locks up. If you have another iOS device like or an iPhone, you also can open Find My App on that device to get help. Let's head over to the computer. Go to iCloud.com, here you need to log into your Apple ID at first if you aren't already. Wait a short while, you'll get into the home page. Click Find iPhone on the page. Click All Devices on the top, select your locked iPad from the Devices drop-down menu. Now click Erase iPad option in the Device Menus which appears on the top left. A window will jump out, 
confirming that all your iPad's content and settings will be erased. To complete the reset, click Erase. Complete the following steps. Now you can see your iPad is erasing. When it restarts again and shows the Hello screen, set it up. You can recover the data with a recent backup on Apps and Data screen. So in today's video, we totally introduce three Apple ways to factory reset your iPad. They are Erase iPhone, iTunes, and Find My iPhone. iPhone Unlocker from AppGeeker can still provide a more simple and high-rate way for you to solve the unavailable problem. Hope this video can help you unlock your iPad. If it does, give a thumbs up and subscribe to Top Capable. We'll see next time.